Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Gambit playlist weapons. And these are honestly pretty good with one of them being like the best weapon from the playlist weapons, in my opinion. So we're going to be talking about Trinary System first. The good one is going to be for last, obviously, because I have a lot to say about that one. So Trinary System, it is a legendary fusion rifle on the energy slot, which is a solar damage. It's an adapter frame, and honestly, I really have nothing to say about this weapon. Uh, the perks you can get on it is fine. Like, it's, it's a fusion rifle. I make it no secret that I don't care about fusion rifles, but let's look at the perks real quick and then I'll give my thoughts. Surplus, auto learning holster, feeding frenzy, killing wind, under pressure, quick drop, slide shot, Ambitious Assassin, Hit Fire Grip, Grave Robber, Slideways, and Firmly Planted for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be High Impact Reserves, Swashbuckler, Wellspring, Tap the Trigger, Disruption Break, One for All, Multi Kill Clip, Thresh, Unrelenting, Demolitionist, Kill Clip, and last but not least, Backup Plan. So, I know a few people are going to want to use this weapon. I personally have one i'm not farming for this one i'm specifically farming for the other one but i i think it's a lot of fun i just don't really care about fusion rifles uh i think they need a buff but not such a massive buff that they destroy the pvp landscape again so they definitely need one in pve because why would you use a fusion rifle over anything else really but if you want to know my honest opinion pve i would probably lo look for like auto auto loading holster quick draw surplus uh ambitious assassin would be an interesting one and that's pretty much it i don't see myself using any of the other ones uh for the last scroll high impact reserves is nice uh disruption break maybe if we do get a a season where fusion rifles can destroy sh uh champion shields and i can see that being meta uh, one for all, maybe not. Multi kill clip, definitely not. Kill clip, I can see the argument because you could just get one kill and then you reload, and then you have kill clip on on demand. Backup plan would be an would be an interesting one, but it does does decrease your damage if I remember correctly. I don't I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know he got nerfed the fuck up, so probably not. Uh, demolitionist would be nice for pve obviously and that's pretty much it i mean swat you could you get you can make an argument for swashbuckler because all you need is a melee kill and you immediately get swashbuckler uh wellspring would be an interesting one especially like surplus and wellspring i can see people saying that would be good uh for pvp obviously you would want to go like high uh, under pressure and high impact reserves like there's really nothing better for that because under pressure and high impact reserves you're you're immediately getting the benefit when you spawn in pvp so like you could go killing win but i just no i i wouldn't say personally uh again under pressure and high impact reserves would be the play like anything else i'm just like whatever but that would be the role that would make me want to use this weapon out in pvp but that's pretty much it again i have no really strong feelings about this weapon mostly because i'm not a big fan of fusion rifles unless they get like a massive buff in pve and like that's it i, I think they're fine in pvp considering most people just pre-shoot anyway so that's my thoughts on tran uh tr trinary system so the last weapon is bottom dollar this is the one that everyone wants for good reason it's the only like 120 in the energy slot aside from the trials weapon but trials is not happening ever again apparently so you know there is that and bottom dollar is just it's gross it, it's really nasty especially some of the rolls you can get so it is a 120 energy in the energy slot it's a void uh weapon so this pairs well with uh warlocks with your uh Nezirak sin helmet this is part of the reason why i want to farm this because i want to have a weapon for my warlock because i do run Nezirak sin a lot so let's look at the perks rapid hit fourth time's a charm outlaw killing wind range finder surplus pulse monitor feeding frenzy hit fire grip subsistence quick draw and slide shot for the first row for the second row it's gonna be wellspring multi-kill clip rampage eye of the storm explosive payload opening shot thresh unrelenting disruption break 
high impact reserves demolitionist and dragonfly so there's a lot of things in this that you could really do for pve obviously you'd probably want to go like rapid hit force times the charm outlaw uh, i'm weird and i like killing wind on pve uh surplus quick draw would be nice even subsistence i could see people arguing for the last row wellspring multi-kill clip rampage explosive payload is nice opening shot probably not and then uh disruption break probably mm, maybe maybe not uh high impact reserves i would want to see just to see how much damage you get more uh demolition is for pve obviously and then dragonfly some people would love uh for pvp i like literally everything i just said is really good with the exception of like rangefinder obviously is good killing wind is obviously good for the last row uh, opening shot obviously so there's just so much you can do with this it's just unfortunate that the chances of you getting a god roll is so astronomical that it's not even funny like really is not not only that but you're more your the chances of you getting this weapon is already really high because of the drop, drop chance but then you have to basically fight the final boss which is getting the rng to get the role that you actually want because currently the role that i would want in my my roles like i'm not that picky when it comes to the roles that i want i would just want rapid hit force times a charm killing wind outlaw or quick drop and then for the last role multi-kill clip rampage opening shot explosive payload uh maybe high impact reserves again i want to i want to just see how much damage you get more and that's it like that's really the only perks that i really would want even then my chances are of getting there just low because i usually don't give a shit about the barrel and the magazine can be hit or miss so i'm really just fighting the two last rows because again barrels i could care less as long as i get the perks i want then i don't give a shit so i unfortunately got some rolls that i just I hate a little bit because I ended up getting a hit fire grip and explosive payload one which is fun don't get me wrong it's just that hit fire grip just feels like such a wasted perk and it's it's fun to like get hit fire kills but i need to aim down my my weapon so that's unfortunate i also got one with killing wind and unrelenting if i remember correctly and i'm gonna tell you right now i hate unrelenting so for me that one kills me the most because if i'd just gotten anything else if i'd gotten like thresh I could have used this with my warlock if i've gotten disruption break fuck it i can use that probably if i had gotten even dragonfly i would have been like that's fine okay but unrelenting i think is like the most useless weapon or perk in the pool ever so that's pretty much my thoughts on the weapons i'm really excited to start farming the bottom dollar i have two currently i'm about to reset my infamy to that to show you how many times or how lucky you need to be in order to get this weapon because i know people that haven't gotten it at all and they've already reset their infamy so yeah it's pretty rough but if you get it let me know in the comments below have you gotten a god roll let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below thank you everyone for the support and i will see you guys later